On October 3rd, 1980, a bomb blew up outside a synagogue on Copernic Street in Paris. We saw the flames and I ran over to look. The door had blown open. And that's when I saw the body of the poor boy, Philippe Buissou, torn to bits. Four people were killed in the attack. Dozens were wounded. Police found the motorcycle where the terrorists hid the bomb. They tracked down the shop where it was bought. Then the hotel where the suspect who bought it had stayed. This is a police sketch of the man witnesses described. Security services identified the group behind the attack as the Popular Front for the Liberation of Palestine Special Operations Unit. Months later, a leading commander of that group was arrested in Italy with several passports, including this one, belonging to a Lebanese man, Hassan Diab, used to enter Europe a few days before the attack but Italian services did not inform French intelligence. It's only in 2008 that Hassan Diab, now living in Canada, was arrested and extradited to France six years later. He swears he has no link to the attack and says his passport had been stolen. It's like a continuous nightmare. You don't know whether you will wake up one day out of this whole process or not. A few years after Hassan Diab's extradition, new witnesses emerged, testifying they had seen the suspect in Lebanon at the time of the attack. New judges dismissed the charges and the suspect returned to Canada. But again, a higher court reversed that decision too, ordering a trial which starts today.